today, today we're going to do a little video about dog hair. This is my golden retriever, Jessie. Isn't she beautiful? She's 14 years old and she loves to go for car rides, don't you girl? But when she does, she tends to leave a little bit of herself behind. So here is my minivan. I have a sheet down too when she comes in with me. I've been vacuuming this for on this side for quite a while now. And as you can see, there's still lots of um, golden retriever hair stuck to this black carpet that's on here. So, oh, excuse me. Today's cleaning day. It's looking rough, but it is what it is. So I'm going to show you how awesome this rubber brush works to get dog hair off of carpet. Um, and specifically today, my minivan carpet, but it works really good for your couches and your chairs and your upholstery at home. So my name is Jilda Snyder. I'm an independent um, Norwex consultant. And today I'm going to demonstrate to you the rubber brush versus dog hair. All right, so here we go. Let's, let's do this spot, get this out of the way. So all you do, brush. See how easy that comes off? So you just scrape it all into a little pile and then you can just throw it in the garbage. The vacuum doesn't touch this, you guys, because of the carpet. It sticks to it so bad. But this rubber brush does such a great job. If you have any animals in your house that like to leave their fur behind, oh, let me clear this off. This is a great tool to have. It's $16.99 in the catalog. It's also really good for um, charging up your dust mitts, for cleaning off your mop pads. Look at that. It's crazy. Let's do this real quick. No, I can't because it's going to move. I'll put my foot there. Just a little elbow grease. And it's clean. Ta da! Oh, the wind's blowing it <laughs> right out the door. So thank you guys for joining me and Jesse today on this lovely November 10th balmy afternoon. Jesse, say goodbye. Say goodbye, Jesse. Bye, guys. Have a good day.